we're back with another video. Um, as y'all can see by the thumbnail, this is a car review. Um, I love doing car reviews for different reasons because, like, I really get to drive the car, feel the car, and, like, really get the understand of the car. I had this car for about uh, a week, so this is my last day with it. I'm about to turn it in, so I thought, what perfect time to do this car review uh, before I turn it in. So, if y'all see different clips of different scenes, I'm sorry, but, you know, man, when you got a family, you got a YouTube in a totally different way so but if y'all new to this channel which y'all can find is car reviews such as this one family vlogs uh car meets car vlogs pranks just a little bit of anything that i found interesting to show my life i'm gonna give to you guys uh we're right through lexington kentucky downtown on campus um uk right there on that side but um I'm going to do a lot of talking while driving because I'm trying to get this out the way. But I'll try to throw some B-roll in outside of the vehicle. But uh, let's jump right to this video. All right. So the first thing I'm going to give you is everything on this side of the uh, cabinet. Then I'm going to jump over there. Then I'm going to jump into the third row, sec second and third row. But right here, the first thing I'm going to show, like, this is a 2022 Ford Expedition Max. This is not the fully loaded one. Um, I'll put it in the description exactly the model trim and everything. It's on the back. I forgot because I, I'm a Dodge guy. So this is this is coming from a Dodge perspective. Um, I drove. Y'all go back in my videos. I drove uh, a Dodge Durango SUV. So this is just a comparison to like anybody who don't know if they want to go forward if they like Ford or what Ford has to offer but um next I'm gonna do one of these reviews on this truck right here the GMC version not only we're gonna do that next but for the most part uh first thing I want to show y'all that I love the most is the different drive modes so you got eco right there you have oh, hit it again sport which I'm gonna give you a little bit of each one that I like. Sport, obviously, you get more power, you get more torque, you get the fast. The fat I'm talking about it's night and day difference driving from eco and sport. You get that that takeoff that everybody likes in sport mode. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it, and it changes the cluster. The one thing I like about this car, every mode, the cluster changes, so that's pretty nice. Rupp Arena right there for the people who new to this channel. Yeah, we are BBM for real. So but anyway, let me go to normal drive mode. That's when you start the car up, that's what you get. Sport mode, the steering wheel gets a little tighter. Now that I'm back in um, now that I'm back in normal, it got a little loose. Um it has the tow package, which you really can't feel nothing. The steering wheel gets a little stiffer, but other than that, you really can't feel it. But I'm guessing that's just for you know, more torque in the back end to be able to pull stuff. Uh, next mode we got is uh, slippery. Now, I, I used this the other day. I don't know if I have a video of that. I can't remember if I did or not, but it was raining. And when I tell you this car didn't slip one time in the rain, um, and this is coming from people who drive rear-wheel drive vehicles, like, I do not even drive my car in the rain. Like, I refuse to drive my car in the rain because i'm scared call me what you want but i'm scared so that slippery mode was definitely great it ties up the steering wheel for you um i really can't tell explain it what it does but you just get a a different type of feel in the steering and in the column and the and the brakes get a little bit more sensitive too as well um jump over to the next one so that was slippery we got trail which obviously i guess that's the if you're taking this bad boy rock climbing i guess it's going to enable four-wheel drive as you can see the traction control turned off the gauges change color as well so that is uh trail eco hold on and we go when you change the eco it turns green and this is what i've been driving in um uh, eco has saved me on so much gas which I'm about to go to the gas station. I'm about to show you how much it costs to fill this bad boy up. But uh, yeah, Eco's 
definitely makes a difference in the gas and how much power you got and all that good stuff. Um, far as the steering, it doesn't really change the steering, but those are the drive modes. Next, we're gonna get into the cluster. As you see, and this bad boy has 10 gears. You also can turn it into manual mode, which is what I like the most. And you can, and there's buttons down here. Let me see if I can show you the buttons down here to plus and minus right there. So you gotta hit the plus. You gotta change the gears. That's three. But I'm gonna go back into auto. That's how you change it back. Um, I don't know why you use that for. Maybe if you get some snow or different elements, but it's there. Um, these also have bending mirrors in. Let me show you guys that. You can, you can fold the mirrors in. I like that feature. And it has the blind spot monitoring. Once I get next to a car, I'll show you that. Uh, but my favorite thing is this screen. Once I do my research on this screen, and tell you how big it is, but that's like, that's a baby monitor right there. Uh, Apple CarPlay, uh, it has nav on it, um, and it has Bluetooth Apple CarPlay, which that's something new too that I, I did not know that that was a possible thing. Uh, those cars, you have to have your phone plugged up, so I like that. It also has, uh, hold on, let me pause. All right guys, sorry to do this in the dark, but you know, when you got a family, like I said, it's hard to YouTube, but, um, that right there is a wireless charger. You have your type C and you have your USB all right there. Nice, easy to access. Uh, let, let's get back over here. So I, I, I'm kind of skipping around guys, my bad, I'm sorry. But over here you got your cruise control and this is your lane assist right here. Basically this helps you stay in the lane. So if you have this on, when you veer over and it shows you right there that I'm in the middle. So watch this, when I get over here, it's gonna pull the car back to the middle. I love that feature. You can turn that off and on. Um, it does mess with you in like construction areas and stuff like that. So as long as you're aware of your features, you can turn it off and on and use it. Um, over here, it's just menu buttons to, to go back and forth to the, you know, all in the cluster. There's really no point to go through that because it's very basic side. You have three different memories, uh, you, seats that you can have in the car. I love that feature. Um, also over here, you can fold down the second row seats. You can open up the power tailgate right there. You have your adjustable pedals right there as well. You also have your um, your your light switches right there on the left hand side. Everything's reachable, um, and you can turn up the brightness everything right there so as i said guys i apologize if this is a fast review um any questions that you guys drop a comment below that i didn't cover i promise i'll answer it uh, this this vehicle is, is equipped with heated and cool seats heated seats y'all see i got my heated seats on cool seats right there you also can control the rear the rear um ac control unit back there as y'all can see that it's off right there right, guys so we back with the outside view give it this real quick we got some 20 inch 275 65 oh excuse me 18s on there the platinum version comes with 20s but these are 18s um you got your automatic um code to open the door when you have that i'm gonna show y'all how to beat that in one second then you got your your lights underneath that underneath those the um the side mirror and one thing i like about this you see these ridges on this door you if, if once the car is locked you can come over and the keys in your pocket and open up any door it does have to be this one if the, like the keys is in there so i can press that and lock it i like that now, another thing too in the cabin it it can also detect when it's too dark it'll turn on the uh, bright lights for you turn it off and, and like i said to you guys this is a max which is, means is the long sleeve. This is all my stuff. I've been selling out this thing. This is the Max. This is the XLT version, which is still nice. You got the black leather. So you got your black leather seats. Uh, every You can fold down the stick seats right here. Power down third row. I'm Yeah, I ain't going to show y'all that. Y'all know what the third row is. But you got all your USB T 
Type C. It also has uh, the the you can plug your stuff up for like a fast charger, cigarette charger, storage, cup holders, cup holders in the door. Oh, and one thing about this that I do like, let me show you. Power tailgate. And you also can fold down the seats right here. So second row, boom. Second row, boom. And the third row you can do it as well. It's power. Go break it up. That's power, but yeah. Nice, man, nice. Got car chargers back here for third row. Uh, the people back here can flip down the seats right there. Like I said, this power tail tailgate, and uh, you know, nice truck, man. Nice, nice. But uh, but once I get back driving, all right, guys. So we're back. Uh, sorry for the different angles, a different camera of quality. I apologize, but. The one thing I would say that I'm going to wrap this video up because I don't want it to be too long. I'm just giving you a basically just a I mean, overall review of the field of how this car drives. Um, and I'm doing this from a Dodge person perspective, not a Durango owner like the new ones, but I've driven the Durango. I've driven, I've driven a lot of stuff, so my favorite is Dodge because how it looks. Uh, for this to be a Ford, I do like it. For this to be the Expedition and the long the longness it did take me a little while to get used to and plus it has a crazy backup camera i'm gonna show you guys that before i get out the car hopefully i do but hopefully i can remember because i should have showed you that but backup camera and the, oh and the one thing i forgot to mention is <laughs> when i got in here i was looking for like the column shifter this has that dial on the bottom um it's it's too much to really go over not too much but it's it's a this truck has a lot of features that it comes in most regular sedans, but I can't tell you the difference in the platinum trim level and this, the, the LTZ, or LT, whatever this is. I apologize. I'm not the Ford guy. Don't laugh at me again. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think of anything I didn't cover in this uh, while I'm driving. Um, Cause I, like I said, I just thought about the, oh, the, the key. So that's one thing I did like about it before I get out, before I end this video. The key right here, it has a uh, power tailgate, um, remote start, unlock and lock, all this right here. Of course, it's a key fob push to start. But for the most part, I mean, great vehicle. Would I rent this again? Yes, because I love how it drives the the power steering in this thing is amazing. So if anybody's ever interested in a in an expedition, the Max, uh, I hope you like this video. If this video did help you guys out, give me a like button. If you want to see more and you like your boy, hit that subscribe button. But until then, if you got any comments that I didn't cover, I'll try to cover everything that I know. I'll go back and when I'm editing the video and drop some of like the horsepower, the miles per gallon, because that I do not know. I'm gonna have to look that up. But to the person who's not a great driver, this might be a lot of vehicle for you just because it's long. But the backup camera saves you. Um, it also has a safety feature on this bad boy to where if you take your hands off the wheel for so long, it'll tell you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. So, you know, like I said, guys, sorry for this to be a fast review. Uh, I've been moving and grooving in this thing for about a week now. So this is a week review. Uh, my perspective, my, <laughs> my perception on a Ford vehicle compared to a Dodge. Yes, I do like it. I would buy the Dodge over this because I think the Dodge looks better. But if you want the third row seat plus a big um, tailgate to, that, to store all your extra stuff, this might be the this might be the vehicle for you, either this or the Suburban. Stay tuned for more car reviews. And until next time, we out.